Hey Sabre fans, it's Aaron of Vandal B Sabre Services here again. And this is part two of my previous video on the DV6. If you missed that one, check it out too if you want. No biggie. I know how Graflex addicts are. I myself am somewhat of a Graflex addict myself, but I just like all lightsabers. Almost all lightsabers. Anyways, I have oh put a lot of work into this one. I really like this one. 89 Sabres Graflex in a new hope configuration. Got your D-ring. Got that lovely glass eye. Brass contacts. Auxiliary slide tab. Main red button activation. There's just so much that Peter did right with this saber. But if you're if you compare it to like a Maker Prop Studio or a Roman Props replica, you're gonna see quite a bit of a difference there from just from what I've seen in the videos. I haven't held a Maker Prop and I haven't held a Graflex Shop or Roman's Props. Can't believe I forgot to mention Graflex Shop just then. But this has a lot going for it. And the price point's really good too. Granted, there's not a whole lot of chassis for it yet. You can find them, but like if you're going through goth, you got to kind of improvise a little bit. Like I did end up using the stock blade holder with this, and it worked out. It worked out well. A little bit of modification in the blade holder, and I was able to get a master chassis to work, a vintage master chassis at that. And I already spoiled the supply. surprise. Let's go and open it up. Da, 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 da. The flippy flap. So there's your recharge port and kill switch, obviously. And I'll just go ahead and take this off too. Might as well. So bubble strip, yada yada. You'll notice uh, the clamp is more of a satin finish, not so much a chrome stainless steel. And that kind of turns me off about it, but it's still a great saver. And without further ado, you know I had to have Graflex 4. I mean, come on. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. I mean, is there any other saber font to have on a New Hope Graflex? I mean, come on, really? But you will notice that lovely master chassis. All steel. You'll see some blinkies going on back there on the Crystal Focus. This is a Crystal Focus install. And it is 14 karat plated, or it's either 14 or 18, I'm not sure, plated gold and brass on the other part of the CC. God, I'm trying to get a good picture for you here. And the rest is all steel. It is a Veco 28mm bass speaker, full RGB color mixing, spectrum mode, yada yada. You know, usually, I find that Vecos are kind of low on volume, but this sounds great. You know, I usually would think that, you know, Saber Essential would be, you know, the way to go. But, um, you know, this turned out great, personally. Um, I think I enabled Spectrum on this. Yeah. It's got some cyan going. Might as well. Suits the situation. <sighs> A lot of work went in this bad boy. Now, I know that fellow Graflex fans Love the idea of the fully removable chassis. I, for one, adore that. I cannot wait to have my vintage with a fully removable chassis. I mean, there's going to be one of two options I go with. It's got to either be a freaking Mentor from Goth or an MB Metal Master. One of the two. Because they are just, granted, you get what you pay for. I mean, you're talking anywhere from 600 for a Mentor on up, all the way up to, depending on how crazy you get with the MB, 
over a thousand dollars easy really depends on the materials you get and uh, for vintage yeah that's only gonna get top-notch quality stuff like that one metal piece there's like one metal piece on the mb i know i'm getting off topic here not really but there's one piece on the mb metal master i think it's like four hundred dollars wow <laughs> and i already know getting it all in stainless steel gonna be doing a lot of sanding but you know what worth it totally worth it i'll probably end up going with a mentor variant too for neopixel and have a profi in it or something like that whenever i'm ready for something like that because i mean i'm a sucker for that new tech the teensy saber v3 i have love it but back to this back to this i'm getting off topic here sd card access is through this door right here so of course hit the kill switch open the door take your sd card out that that's freaking heavenly by the way i love that little door being there it's freaking awesome snaps into place real well um it doesn't flip open like this door does quite a bit which i don't mind that neither it doesn't flip open whenever the shell is on it of course um yeah let's get back to the font accessing imperial records <laughs> Now to the Star Killer Meditation Room menu sounds for this one. And you know, for this being a Veco, it's got good sound venting. I'm not even gonna lie. Too many of them. What, what are, are we, we going, going to, to do? do? <laughs> you underestimate my power. Yeah. Let's see, what's this? Nah, just regular force powers. Want to say crystal chamber in red? I do. Reds always turn out so great in crystal chambers. Look at that. Oh, it looks even better in person. It looks more like a deep red in person. I love it. You can kind of hear the speaker crackling. like Not crackling, but like shaking a little bit almost. It's, it's pumping out quite a bit of volume for a Veco. Not even going to lie. When I compare the sound venting on this saber to a Corbant, this is way better. I think it's because you have multiple spots for sound venting. I mean, this is a New Hope config too, so there's no rivets for sound venting. I mean, you have sound venting through that little bitty hole there. There's holes underneath the D-ring. There's holes in the clamp. There's a hole right there. There's holes in each section. So, I mean, there's a lot of venting going on here, and it's, it's solid. I'm not going to lie. I like it a lot. Accessing Imperial Records. Sacrifice. The Force Awakens. Reflex. Raise the Legion. Uh, I'm so happy with how this one turned out. Because on other sabers that I've tried to put this font on with, they usually end up hitting the, uh, whenever the piano hits in, it clashes. But this one I need someone did not have that issue. This is just like from Return of the Jedi. You get those chills, you know. There's a lot of shaking going on here. Maybe because it's a Veco or because I have it at volume four. I don't care. It's freaking beautiful. Ah, it's beautiful. One thing that makes me sad is I don't know if this would, uh, if I used an NEC board, if it would fix this, but restart the song. Restart the song. I don't care. I'm, I'm okay with it. it it's freaking beautiful. I think NEC mixes the swings and stuff in with the hum, so 
And I don't like sand. I did the rest, you know, light side fonts and the rest Graflex or Anakin fonts. Who are we? So. Malignant. Who do you care? Who do you care? So it's. This is the weapon of a Jedi. It's got really good sound venting, I'm not gonna lie. Like, way better than Corbanth. And I've done my fair share of Corbanth Graflexes, but. You know, for what Corbanth is, I like it a lot. You can't complain with sabers in general. Oh, let's see. Is there anything I missed on this one? I don't think so. I mean, give you an overall look of it if you want. Let's see if I can... There we go. Yeah, let's do that. So, starting from the top. So, I mean, you have your rounded rivet. Rivet. And you have your tabs inside the um, bunny ears. The bunny ears are... I don't think they have the uh, type of S-curve, I believe is how Jordan Eugene put it. Well, they still look great. Um, the rivet doesn't really have the rounding around it. Still looks good though. It's got the flat beer tab. Um, the the red button. It's got a wonderful color to it. That dark cherry. Um, I'm not sure how accurate the button is. I honestly couldn't tell you. Slide tab seems pretty solid. Um, I love how they did the brass contacts on this. It's like a full strip that goes around. You look on their website, you'll see it. Um, the black lip is held in place with two super tiny screws they must be like an m3 screw or something like that but they are super tiny um glass size quite nice i like it um graflex logo lines up pretty well pretty well um i can't get over that satin finish though um clamp lever Um, now the grips, one big thing, I, one gripe I have about this is the grips. They are rubber. I don't know if Peter fixed that in later um, models of this, but they are very much rubber. They are not the hard plastic that like Corbent has, or you'll see, you'll see stuff like this on um, Hasbro and Master Replica, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, I know some of those have been rubber. I think some have been hard plastic. Um, they may all be plastic. I don't know. I'm not a genius. I'm not a guru, but I'm still learning. That's part of the journey. Um, you can see the sound venting in the bottom. It's got pretty good sound venting. So all those holes allow for either ESB, A New Hope, well, D-Ring or Kabold, however you want to say it. You could probably get away with getting a uh, replica clamp to get that chrome finish and a replica bottom or even a vintage if you were feeling ballsy enough to drill into that. I'm not going to drill into mine personally. Um, you could probably do that and uh, get rid of that extra hole there. But for this particular install, I did not have that available to me. Um, the switch setup, I will say this, the auxiliary switch setup, I love it. It's freaking awesome. I mean, this slide tab kind of goes into a brass pin, which that brass pin is threaded all the way down to where the little switch is, and that it's spring-loaded. So, you know, pressing down on it. Now, uh, you got to be careful with the heat sink, though. The heat sink uh, used a 1-inch KR Sabres heat sink, and um, you want to get a low-profile one. You definitely want to get a low profile one because if it goes too far down it'll actually press on the switch and you will be stuck in a auxiliary switch being pressed down and if it's up too high it will interfere with the glass high so you want to look out for that if you ever decide to install one of these um, granted it's still a great saber I like it a lot um, if there's anything to take away from this, low-profile heatsink, definitely. 
Um, what was the issue I was having? I was having an issue. I was trying to use a Graflex Shop blade holder instead of this for a little while, and it was it was not working out with the auxiliary switch. Um, that's why. Because of how this is set up, it's a whole separate piece. It's not attached, uh, similar to how a vintage is or a replica, how it has the tab that goes down and you have to trim it down. This is actually, you know, its own separate piece, like, goes into a brass rod, literally. It's held in place by that brass rod. But uh, I was having issues with that, so I ended up improvising with the stock blade holder. So, if I can do it, you can do it, right? It's not hard. Um, you guys just gotta be careful with that drilling and tapping, because I mean, if, if you tap too to, if you tap too low, there goes your tap, and have fun getting that out. Just saying, because you're not gonna be drilling all the way through, not like a typical tap. Whenever you tap a hole, this is just going so deep, and you want it just deep enough for that threaded rod to fit just enough for it to fit perfectly with that chassis. So. You know, there's a lot of little things like that that you can go into, but overall, great Graflex. Um, the set screw is that. It's the uh, emitter screw, and it, it's wonderful. I'm not going to lie. It's really low profile. Um, the hole is drilled out a little bit up here for it to sit flush, unlike other models, uh, other variations. There's no silver tabs on the inside, of course, like a vintage has. Um, I do like how the blade holder is all one piece and doesn't have shine through. Um, newer blade holders are fixing that issue. And anything else? Bubble strip wasn't bad. Not bad. Got some double-sided tape, stuck it on there. No clamp card activation, so that was one headache I could avoid there. I love clamp card activation, don't get me wrong, but this, that auxiliary, I, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, overall, great stuff, and uh, great job, Peter, great job, Goth. Um, thank you for all the help from everybody in the vault that I had questions for. Um, <clears throat> I know I was having issues with the blade holder issue, so got that worked out, obviously. And thank you for watching, and until the next time, my fellow Jedi and Sith companions, may the Force be with you always.